YouTube. I am the Tiny Tangerine, and today I bring you Resident Evil Revelations 2 Raid Mode. Well, to be fair, it's a lot different to the other raid modes, which I'll show you some in a minute. Um, you can personalize your character. I have actually bought the season pass, so I do get quite a bit of stuff for it. It's only like 20 quid, it was not a bad deal. Considering the first episode's only out and it's going to be released, I think, one a week. Uh, you can get the episodes, like a fiver, something like that, five pound. It's uh, not bad. So what I'll first off do is show you what raid mode is all about. As you can see, you have all different missions and there's different requirements to them missions, which we'll go through in a minute. Uh, there's also a level uh, where you can set your level. I am already level 10, but we'll start off on level 1 just to show you guys what it is. So let's get this started. It is quite different to the original uh, raid mode. But uh, it's. I'm borderline at the moment. There's some good things and some bad things. I mean, you do get agilities now. Little, uh, little stuff you can do up. You can also have you turn invisible. Uh, who's that now? Oh look, TPJ! Shout out to my boy! Anyway, let's get this started. First off, the medals you have to acquire are, I believe, don't use a herb, uh, kill all the enemies, and basically just be the, uh, the right level for the level. what they for. But those are the things I tend to keep to and I tend to unlock all of them. You do have a crouch now, which is kind of weird, but it does work, it's kind of nice. Running's not too bad. As you can see I'm pretty much dropping these even though I have changed my level to level one. Because of my handgun being I think uh level nine I think, or has got some great little features to it though. I mean, some of the add-ons you can get for your guns are insane. And I do believe you can level up to 100 now, which you couldn't do on the others. Okay, run back. The high roller has returned as well. Not a bad gun. doesn't seem to have the same atmosphere as uh, Revelations 1. To be fair, it's uh, you don't feel that under pressure. Um, I don't think I've felt the need to severely panic yet. It's, uh, no, it's very well lit as well, to be fair, if you can see. There are the throwback maps you can get to the original Revelations. I think they're uh, on as DLC. I haven't got them yet. I thought I'd try this out for you guys first, see what you thought. I'm not quite sure if these are even zombies. <laughs> to be fair, uh, there's no explanation through the first episode of what they are. I have noticed, uh, I think it's Bor Boris. That's been thrown in. I know we've got zombies, well, so called zombies. And there we go. Now don't worry if you get beat, you can still get the medal. Just as long as you don't get some hurt. Just a little bother, ain't you? As you can see in the top right corner, there is an enemy camp. You will have to kill all the enemies in that camp. Some of them don't appear until after you actually hit a certain mark. You, can, you usually open up the last gate with the key. And you'll have like five enemies left, it'll say, and it'll spawn them after you've opened it. So don't be getting lost running around trying to find them like I did. As always, the sniper. Can't go wrong with the sniper on this. 
Everybody knows that. It does seem to have like an auto lock on. I don't know if you call it then, I'll show you in a minute. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. It seems to have like an auto lock. Which I'm not sure I like. I mean it makes it too easy. I mean I'm not as you can see, finding it hard at all. And it was like this when I first started to say. But I suppose as I go on, the levels will get harder. There is a dodge now. If you press A direction and B, you can dodge out the way. That's something new. I don't believe that was in the last one. But it, you know, I am on the fence about it. I don't know. I don't know what to think of it at the moment. It is a good game, don't get me wrong. But it seems like it's just get get from one point to the other and it's usually as just as simple as that there are some new features where you have to defend the marker or do it in a certain time limit and i know you're probably going to write in the comments and all the original was getting from a to b it this one just seems to be it's completely set out for you as far as i can tell from the first lot of missions i've played um there. I don't believe that was in the last one. But it is a good game and it's it's not too bad. There is I believe five um, episodes being released. I do believe they are doing two extra ones and to be honest I think if it does sell well they will throw out extra missions. Here we go. See? Clear the mission. Clear the mission at the below the recommended level, which we've done. Clear the mission without using a herb. See, originally it would be that you couldn't get a uh, hit, but now it's just not using a herb, which is quite easy to do. Defeat all the enemies, obtain all medals at once, and that's that's all of them. It's that simple. If you just keep to the mark of having the level right and going in, killing everything, and not using a herb, you'll unlock all the. Uh, the acquired emblems, I think they're emblems or medallions or whatever they're called. Oh, we did, we did get some stuff. Nothing good there, I can tell you. You're looking for the gold records. They're the ones we want. Three stars, gold records, or anything gold particularly. But I'll open some of them up and I'll show you. I've got some gold records, and I think stored. I believe you can buy extra storage as well, which I think is a bit of a con. I think that's very good. But these are the gold ones. These are the ones you're looking for. The ones with the stars. So I'll open these. We'll have a look what these are. Ice ammo. Which, obviously, you get the idea of what that does. You shoot something, it freezes it. This will be fire ammo, I take it. By the look of it, yeah. Fire ammo level one. Always happy to have that. And critical hit level one. I'll throw these in because... I probably won't use them. But it, it has got the shop. <clears throat> you can continue to buy stuff. You can't go in the shop, find something that you, you want, then leave and then go back in and it'll be different. It won't be like that. It won't be like the old one. If you actually go into the shop and exit and go back in, the same stuff will be there. So I'm guessing it's on a timer. The shop will be over here. As you can see. See the guns, like the P10, the tap. If I go out, go back in, same guns. So you can't refresh the guns by going back out of the shop. Which is a shame, but I can see why they did it. But overall, it, it is a good game. It is it is a really good game, but it just it's a bit different from the old revelations, if that's what you're used to. But if you, you're looking for more fun with raid mode and collecting all the uh, exotic parts and stuff, this is definitely a good game for that. So anyway, that's the first one I first mission I had to look at. And if you do like the videos, please leave a like. It really does help me out. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.